At some point, um, I, I have a design in mind for an electric supersonic vertical tech one nine eight plane. And I think there's a particular opportunity for um, a supersonic vertical takeoff and landing electric jet. Supersonic uh, electric jet. Vertical takeoff and landing electric jet. A supersonic electric vertical takeoff and landing jet. An, an electric jet. Yup, that's right. In this video, I'm going to talk about how Tesla can soon disrupt the airline industry as we know it. I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. This video is brought to you by Weeble. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description, deposit $100, and now you can receive a free share valued up to $1,600. So that's free money just by clicking the link down in the description. But enough talking, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back dreamers. I'm going to talk about the Tesla aircraft soon and all the key words you need to look out for on battery day to see if an aircraft from Tesla will come out anytime soon. But first, let's look at my position of Tesla on the Robinhood app. Right now, Tesla is at $449.50. They had a pretty solid week, been up 18%, up $68.59. I own a total of 7.33 shares of Tesla with a market value of $3,295.97. With my average cost being $212.73 and it's around 12% of my portfolio. Today's return was up $191.16, 6%. And my total return from Tesla, I have doubled my money, $1,736.13. So I don't have a massive position in Tesla, but for me, seven shares of Tesla is awesome and I can't wait for the news on battery day. So let me go ahead and dive into the information that you guys need to look out for on battery day to see if there's even a slight chance of an aircraft from Tesla coming out within the next three to four years. Okay, so with Tesla battery day coming up on the 23rd, everyone's been hearing about the million mile battery, the million mile battery. So once they announce the million mile battery, not too many people are gonna be surprised because that's pretty much what we're expecting at this point. If they don't announce the million mile battery, then that might be some bad news from Tesla. But it's not the million mile battery that we need to be listening for. The key words that we need to look out for on Tesla battery day is energy destiny. To have a compelling aircraft, you only really need about 400 watt hours per kilogram, provided your, the, your, the percentage of cell on the craft, on the, on the aircraft is high. It doesn't need to be anywhere near as high as it is on a rocket, um, but if it's sort of at the 70% level um, at 400 watt hours per kilogram, um, you can do very decent range. Now Elon Musk has said it multiple times, in order for an aircraft to take off, to have vertical flight and vertical landing, and to fly at a certain altitude, the batteries we need to have an energy density of 400 watt hours per kilogram. So that's what we need to pay attention to in order for vertical takeoff and flight within aircrafts. Now this would change Tesla. Tesla is not a car company, it's a technology company. This would change everything in the aircraft industry. A, because electricity is cheaper than gas and maintenance on a gas-fueled engine. Also, it's much more environmentally friendly. They're also quieter so you don't have to worry about the annoying sounds of the airplane engine. Like the, I think the optimal sort of air transport solution is a VTOL uh, electric supersonic plane. Um, and, and it actually works together quite well for a, a bunch of reasons. Um, you, um, in, in, in particular, the higher you go, the, the better the electric, the more efficient the electric aircraft is. Whereas if you have a combustion aircraft, as you, as you get higher, it, get, it tends to get worse because uh, you have a kind of a fixed aperture. Uh, and uh, air scoop. Yeah, if, like the engine is uh, the hole in the front of the engine is 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 a fixed size, and so you have to pick a particular cruising altitude, and so you've got to figure out how do you uh, get the right amount of air at sea level all the way through really high altitude, um, and then you've got this issue of super, supersonic combustion that you know you see you end up having to slow the air down, and it ends up being um, not, not that efficient. But an electric after aircraft would just get better and better as as it got uh, higher. Now this would shake up the industry in so many ways because A, 
uh, jet fuel engines have to fly at a certain altitude in order for the air mixture within the jet can actually propel the engine forward for it to work correctly. So they can't really go too high inside the atmosphere because the air is too thin up there for the jets to work properly. Now, if Tesla comes out with an engine that could fly an airplane, they could fly at higher altitudes, which means the air is much thinner up there, which gives you a better efficiency rating with electric battery motors. So it will work much better at higher altitudes than lower altitudes, and you will get a better efficiency at your batteries that way. Elon Musk already said that his plants will be able to travel at supersonic speeds due to the thinness of the air at the high altitudes. So on battery day, if you hear anything about him saying the energy density being around 400 watt hours per kilogram just know that elon musk already said that once he gets this technology he already have an aircraft design in place and would take him around three to four years in order to bring it out to the market or at least have his alpha out there and then the beta coming soon and then eventually the new product but he already have plans in place to build this he just need the technology to catch up looked at planes and gone i could fix this I just don't have the time. Yeah. Busy I have a design for a plane. You do? Yes. A better design? I mean, probably. I think it is. Yes. Well, who have you talked to about this? And I've talked to friends. Friends? And friends and... I'm your friend. Girlfriends and... You can tell me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? What's going on? Well, I mean, the exciting thing to do would be some sort of electric vertical takeoff and landing, supersonic jet of some kind vertical takeoff and landing being no need for a runway just shoot up straight yes. in the air and then choo. so maybe this is the big news he's been hyping up to all of the tesla followers out there once he announced the million mile battery it's going to be okay cool but once he says the energy density of this battery and you hear 400 watt hours per kilogram just know in three to four years a Tesla plane is coming out. And if you get it in early now, that would be a major boom for this technology company. So if he doesn't say the energy density of the new million mile battery, if that's even announced, if he doesn't say it, then nine times out of 10, they have not got to the 400 watt hours per kilogram yet. So we'll have to wait even longer for him to make an electric airplane. So eventually if he does come out with the electric airplane, are you gonna hold on to your uh, Delta Airlines stock, your Southwest Airlines stocks? Are you gonna hold on to those? Or do you expect them to eventually catch on and actually convert some of their planes into electric airplanes? That's the only way I can see that they don't get left behind if he does announce that, hey, I have plans for a plane coming out within the next four years. So a lot of people say that this Tesla company, this car company is overvalued for a car company. Tesla is far from a car company. It is a technology company. And so you have to look at it a completely different way. Uh, right now I see it's at a fair value. No one really knows what a fair value is for Tesla because it just keeps going up. And especially the hype behind it is keep going up behind battery day. So hopefully on battery day, they pull through with some great news and we hear him say 400 watt hours per kilogram. If he says that, I'm going to buy at least two more shares of Tesla in order for me to get in early on the wave. Not a lot of people are gonna know exactly what that means, but if you watch this video, do you already know that within the next three to four years, he's gonna come out with a Tesla plane. So let me know down in the description, would you fly in an electric airplane? And if you hear him say 400 watt hours per kilogram, how many shares are you gonna buy if you believe that he's gonna come out with an aircraft pretty soon? But other than that, make sure that you guys leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. And once again, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.